This video is going to show you how to find the average velocity on a position versus time graph. The question we're going to use to do this is to find the average velocity from 1 to 3 seconds. So what I need to do is figure out where I am on the curve at 1 and 3 seconds. So at 1 second I'm there on the curve and at 3 seconds I'm right here on the curve. Now recall that the slope on this graph is the velocity. So what I'm going to do to find the average velocity is I'm going to draw a line between the two points at 1 second and 3 seconds. And then I'm going to find the slope of that line. So here's my line connecting my two dots. Now at 1, it's kind of nice. It's in the corner of a square. So that's going to be some, be some easy information to get. But at 3 seconds, it's a little bit more difficult. So I'm going to follow the green line down. And I can see that at 3.8 seconds, it covers the corner of the square. So that's the point I'm going to use in my calculations. So I'm going to start by using the 1 second because it goes through the corner of the square. And then I'm not going to use 3 seconds. Again, I'm going down here at 3.8 because it goes through another corner of a square, which makes it easy data to collect. So its position for at 1 second is going to be at 6 meters. And the position at 3.8 seconds is going to be 6 meters. So that means that the rise is going to be 12 meters. And the run is going to be the difference between my two points along the horizontal axis, which is going to be 3.8 minus 1, or 2.8 seconds. So the average velocity, which is equal to the slope, is the rise over run, which is negative 12 divided by 2.8. So that's going to equal negative 4.29 meters per second.